1 to 100 we will find out the prime numbers between 1 to 100 using method of same electrosynthesis so here we know that factors we learn we have learned the concept of factors for example 2 into 3 is equal to 6 and 6 is divisible by 2 and also 3 is divisible by 2 so we call 2 and 3 are factors of 6 2 and 3 factors of 6 let's recall if 2 into 3 is equal to 6 then 2 is divisible by 6 and 3 is also divisible by 6 let's recall 2 into 3 is equal to 6 6 is divisible by 2 and 6 is also divisible by 3 so 2 and 3 are factors of 6 will work so 2 and 3 are the factors here so this is the concept of factors so here let's see what are the factors we have for 2 we know the concept of prime number prime number will have only 2 factors the number itself and also 1 numbers which are having only two factors are called as prime numbers that concept we have learned prime numbers prime numbers having two factors the numbers which are having only two factors are called as prime factors prime numbers the numbers which are having only two factors are called as prime numbers so here we know that some of the prime numbers we have that is 2 2 is a prime number because if we take 2 that is equal to 2 into 1 and we not get any other table so here factors are 1 comma 2 only it has only 2 factors so 2 is a prime number we already know that we have discussed about 1 the factors so here, one is we already discussed about the one and the prime numbers. That is, one is neither prime or non composite. The reason is it has it doesn't have any factors. The number itself is a factor of it. So we don't have any other factors for it. So that's the reason we call it is neither prime or non composite. And two is having the factors of two and one. So two factors we have here. So the numbers, the numbers which are having two factors are called as prime numbers. So this is neither prime nor composite. And let's see next one. The numbers which are having two factors are called as prime numbers. Here three is also prime number. So here two and three we got. Let's see the multiples of two. We know that multiples of two that is four, six, eight, ten. 12, 14 and so on these are the multiples of 2 and multiples of 2 that means it does it has more than 2 factors because if you take 4 and factors for this 4 are uh, we'll be getting 1, 2 and 4 so that's the reason here the 3 factors, the three factors we have for 4 that's the reason and these are the multiples of 4 and these are composite numbers not the prime numbers so if we take 6 here, 1, 2, 3 and uh, 6 are the factors for it, 1, 2, 3, 6 are the factors for it, so it has more than 2 factors, that's the reason it is not a prime number, so these all the multiples will be having more than 2 factors, so let's take the multiples of 2, so these all are not having the factors. These all are having more than two facts, factors, so those are not prime numbers. So let's write the multiples of two here. So those are not prime numbers. Multiples of two are, we know that very easily we can find out. 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. And the difference between the two numbers is 2 and those are even numbers. 4 and 6, these are these are multiples of 2, which are which are not a prime numbers. So 4, 6, 8, 10, we'll strike it. The multiples of 2, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21, 
22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, 70, 72, 74, 76, 78, 80, and 82, 84, 86, 88, 90, and 92, 94, 96, 98, and 100 are the multiples of 2. So these are having more than 2 factors. The numbers are not a prime numbers. So let's see here. Then we know that 3 is a prime number because 3 is equal to 3 to 1. Their factors are 1 and 3 only. We don't have any other factors. So 3 is a prime number. Let's see. The multiples of 3, so here, if you take multiples of 3, 3 is 6, 9, 12, and 15, and so on, these are the multiples of 3. Let's see the factors for it, that are, for 3, 1, and 3 only, so 3 is not a prime number, so let's take only the multiples of 3, let's take the multiples of 3, not 3, so 3 after, the factors of 1, 3 and 6, 3 factors we have. So if we take the 9, 1 and the 3 and 9, so 3 factors we have here. So that's the reason these all the numbers are multiples of 3 and uh, it has more than 2 factors. So the, the multiples of 3 have more than 3 factors. Those are not prime numbers. So let's write the multiples of 3 here. Multiples of 3 are 3 over Prime number we know. Multiples of 3 are 3, sorry, 9. 9 is a multiple of 3 and 12 already is multiple of 2, so we strike. We strike it already. And 15 is a multiple of 3 and uh, 18 is multiple of 3, but it's strike off before because it's a multiple of 2 also. So after that, 21 is multiple of 3 and uh, 21 after 24 is multiple of 3. It's multiple of 2 also, so they also already strike off here. 27 is multiple of 3, 30, 33 is multiple of 3, 36 already over, and 39, and 42, 43, 45 is multiple of 3, and 48 is completed, and uh, uh, 50, and 49, 40, 47, 48 over, 48 completed, and then after, and here, 51. The multiple of 3 because here we will be getting in 70 tables, 73 is a 51, that's the reason it is multiple of 3 and then after uh, 50, after it is 51 and 54 it's completed already and uh, uh, it is 57 and 57 after 60 and 60 after 63 and 66 and then 69 69 after 72 and then 75 and then 78, 81 and then after 84 and uh, 80, 87 87 after and then 90, 93 and uh, uh, 96 completed after 99 and all the multiples of 3 completed here so here we have taken the prime numbers 2, 3, 7, 5, 7, 11, 30, 17, 19 and 23, 29, 31, uh, 37 and after 41, 43, 47 67 and then 71, 73, 79, 83, 89, 97. These are the prime numbers. Let's uh, let's see in each year. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. 
The common factor of those two numbers is one. We call them co-primes. For example, if you have taken any common number, common number, you have taken any one prime number and other number is any other number, like other than the prime number, if we take those numbers, we'll be having only one common factor. That is one. So the, those numbers are called as co-primes. Let's see one of the example here. So this is a concept of co-primes. 